Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, and thanks for dropping by my little shack in the corner for a ham shack chat. Now in this video, we're going to take a look at how to use the FT Systems software to program memories into the Yaesu FT991A. This is part one of a series of two. In the second part, I'll show you how to program all of your menu function settings using the same programming software. As a disclaimer, I currently don't, nor have I ever, worked for RT Systems. I'm getting nothing from them for doing this video, and my promise to you is to give you what I know and what I've experienced. The good, the bad, and the ugly. I will let you know that whenever I order a new radio, if the RT system software is available, and it probably is, I make that part of my purchase. And I've been doing that for like the last 20 plus years. So I guess you could say, I might not work for them, but I am a fan. This is the RT systems website, and there is a link down in the video description for you. And uh, you start here. There's how-to videos, there's uh, access to support, and uh, if you scroll over here, you'll see all kinds of different uh, manufacturers. And uh, we'll look at the Yesu, since that's what we're going to be talking about. But let's take a look at HF, and you'll see starting off with the FT100 and moving up through. Uh, here's the FT-991A and 991. What will happen is when you first start up that program, it will ask you which one you have, and it will set itself up uh, accordingly. Uh, we'll go in here, and you can see if you want the software with the download cable, it's $35. And then you have your options down here. And you start off by picking your operating systems. Uh, you can do an electronic download, which I would recommend. Uh, you can uh, have them send you a CD, which will cost you an extra $7.50. Uh, or uh, you can go with Mac OS. In either case, they're going to send you the cable uh, separately. You can also go with just a straight download, uh, electronic download, and uh, in this case, uh, you'll. I'm using Windows, uh, but if you want a CD, yes, you can get a CD burnt for an extra 750 cents. Uh, unfortunately, if you want a CD, Mac OS is only allowing an electronic download. Finally, on the cable, if you just want the cable, it's $12. But it's a USB printer cable. Uh, it's available cheaply at any Walmart, uh, Best Buy, uh, Amazon, and probably less than this. And uh, you probably have a couple of these stuck in your uh, cable drawer someplace. Now, let's look at the software itself. When you first open up the RT Systems FT-991A programmer, you will get this screen. It looks an awful lot like an Excel form. Uh, and like an Excel form, you can copy and paste uh, individual sections from uh, one RT Systems uh, program to another. So, say you have a uh, FT60 and you want to copy from your FT991A over to your FT60 you can just copy from here column 1 down through there these are all our FM uh, FM stuff and uh, it'll go across and it'll be in the same memory location and everything will all be set up now the first thing you want to do when you open this is go up here to communications and get uh, get data from radio. So I'm going to download everything that is on my current rig. 
Now, if there's a problem, you need to go right back to here uh, and follow these instructions. Uh, so if there's a problem, uh, it does, doesn't copy across, it, it doesn't work for one reason or another, sometimes it will hiccup. Uh, so what you want to do is turn off your uh, rig, turn off your power supply, uh, unplug the cable uh, from the uh, back of the rig or from where you're plugging it into your computer, one, one side or the other. Then you want to reinsert the cable, turn the radio on. Uh, you're going to want to come over here to menu 29, it says, but uh, that could be a problem. Uh, but you want to make sure that menu item number 29 is set to 9600. And uh, unfortunately, when you go to menu 29 to set it to 9600, you will find that it is actually your RS-232 port. Uh, so go ahead and set it for 9600. Then go down to uh, menu item 31 and set that to 9600. Uh, 90, uh, 031 is your cat baud rate, uh, not menu item 29. Uh, it's a glitch, but now that you know, you know how to resolve it. Uh, then you click OK to start transferring the data. Uh, we are only going to transfer the memory channels. Uh, in a future video, we'll be transferring the menus as well. And now you'll see that this FT-991A untitled, uh, and you can give it a title, just uh, come up here and do a save as, and uh, it, it will pick up the whatever you save it as there. Uh, but uh, you will see that it is basically a direct copy of what I initially had. Let's take a look at what I have here. I started off with our two national calling frequencies. They are Simplex, FM. I named them Calling and that's the what will show up on my FT-991A. It doesn't have a tone and we're all good there. This is my local ATC. It's the uh, towers for my local airport and one just a little bit away from me. And so I've labeled that ATC but you'll see I've put skip because when I'm scrolling through uh, looking for someone to talk to, I don't want it to hit these frequencies. Uh, this is the National Weather Service for my area, so I stuck it in there. Again, it is a simplex FM. The towers are AM. Same thing, I don't want to hit the weather station every time I put my rig in scan. Then I started here at menu item 10 and listed all of my VHF frequencies. I went to the repeater book and I downloaded all of them, everything that was in the repeater book. And then uh, afterwards I went through and checked to see if they were actually operational. So anything you see over here that is skipped, I found was not operational or not available to me. Maybe the distance, maybe it's the uh, geography around here, but I couldn't contact them from my home station. Coming across here, this first one that I'm going to hit, and let me just highlight that, is the K8HO repeater. It's on 146.685 it's got a standard offset of 600 Hertz. Uh, you can put in an alternate offset if you want and uh, that those are all there but we'll we'll leave it there. You can also just click on that if you don't have a standard offset you can do that. Uh, just just enter it in here. Uh, 
it is a negative offset. It is FM. It does have a tone of 118.8 and uh, when you get over here the tone is a pull down so you can pick any of these. I, I pick tone and you can go through all the all the selections for tones that are out there. Um, everything else is exactly how it should be anyways. It is the same setup with my UHF frequencies. A whole lot of them are, are skipped. Uh, then I came down here. These are all my C4 FM which is uh, Yesu System Fusion. Now we're going to delete memory number 40, the W8BUZ memory. So we're going to press and hold the function key and bring up the M list. And we're going to click down here to 40 and we're going to touch erase. So to show you that memory 40 has actually been deleted we're here on our memory channels and you'll see that 40 no longer exists. Now that we've deleted it on the rig, we're going to come back up here. We're going to go through our communications. We're going to go get data from radio. We're going to follow through with this and click OK. So now that we've read from our rig, we can see that menu item 40, the 443.3 with a tone of 146.2 W8BUZ is missing. So let's go ahead and enter it back in. So we're going to enter 443.3. Everything else fills in. And we're kind of going to come over here. We're going to enter the repeater's call sign, W8BUZ. We're going to set it for having a tone and use the pull down menu to find 146.2 right there. Select that. Everything else stays the same. Now we're going to upload this to our radio. To do that is we send data to radio and everything ought to work out just fine. And we get the notification that in order to make it happen we have to shut off the radio, which I've just done, and turn it back on and click this OK. Now let's go look at the radio and see if it worked. And as you can see, on the rig, memory channel 40 has been restored. As always, I'm at your service. If you've enjoyed this video and maybe got something out of it, please give me a like. Please like me. Please. By popping that thumbs up icon. And please share this content Sharing is fun. With your friends in the FT-991A community. Now, if you have any comments or questions. Questions? Comments? Please feel free to leave them down in the comment section. And finally, please consider subscribing. Do you subscribe to this uh, troubadour mystique? To this channel. I certainly do appreciate it. So, here's where we get to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good is that the RT system software is intuitive and very easy to use. Once you've installed it, you could share your memory settings with other FT991 owners. Uh, now this would come in very handy if you're using your 991A to support activities like field day or some community support things. You can also cut and paste your memories from the 991A programming software into any other RT system software package. Uh, being able to have all of your memories saved 
keeps you from having to hand enter everything in case something goes wrong, uh, there's a glitch, or you have to do a full reset. Now for the bad and the oh, ugly. I was preparing this video, I had to double check myself to make sure that I was telling you correct information. And there were several times when I had done a full reset. And after that reset, the RT system software would not reload my file. However, I found that if I follow those instructions that pop up on the screen for uploading and downloading, uh, the one under the communications tab, everything worked just fine. Uh, there was also the read and write directions that pop up uh, under the communications tab that the uh, said the cat menu was item 29. That's actually your RS-232. Uh, the cat menu is actually item 31. So that might be a point of confusion for new users. My recommendation, set them both to uh, the uh, baud rate or the data rate that you need. Uh, all that said, I'm a fan. And I think that this minor irritations uh, don't negate the benefits provided to my operations by this software. Yes, I had to go back and redo some things, but it was only a, a two or three minute effort. In overview, you get what you pay for. 7-3 for now. Until the next video, I'm Tom, ND3N, and I am out.